Developing your scapula is arguably the most important area for body weight mastery. It will increase how much torque and how much stability and control can be generated at the shoulders. Let's have a look at the exercises that will help you with just that. Hi legends, welcome to the video. This is the third video of the series and in this video we're going to talk about scapular depression. Now make sure to watch all the four videos in this series so you get the big picture of all the four main scapular movements, which is protraction, retraction, elevation, and depression. Now, one of the most fundamental exercises in calisthenics is the L-sit, and the L-sit requires the scapula to be depressed. So in this video, we're gonna cover a few exercises to help you have the body awareness, to have your scapula depressed, and as well as, of course, developing strength in the muscles so that you can have your scapula depressed. Now to depress, what you're looking at is trying to get your shoulder blades in your back pockets. You move only your arms and hands down as if you're trying to touch the floor. Depression is accomplished by obviously the force of gravity, but as well as the muscles, the pec minor, pec major, trapezius, serratus interior, and the lats. So let's have a look now at the exercises. First, let's have a look at the seated scapular depression. Sit on the chair, and here in the video I'm actually using a bench only because I want you guys to see my back as well. Now sit on the chair with your back straight. Then you want to clasp the seat of, a, of the chair and lift your bottom from the seat by straightening your elbows and pushing the shoulders down. Don't let your chin protrude forward and then you proceed with 10 to 15 reps, 2 to 3 reps. Next, we're looking at the vertical push below shoulder height. That one's a bit more difficult, but a very effective exercise for scapular depression, and also you get a good pump on your back muscles. Now, using the rings, you will be hanging on the rings, and make sure to turn out the rings as well. Then you lower the body down, the shoulders will elevate, and you press up, making sure that your scapula is depressed, and you hold that for one second. You want to do three sets of 10, with the last rep having 10 to 30 seconds isometric hold on the depression position. Third, we have the shoulder depression hanging off a bar. Hang from a pull-up bar and then retract and depress your shoulder blades. You do three sets of 10 going up and down with the last rep being 10 to 30 seconds isometric hold on the depression position. If you add those exercises to your calisthenics weekly routine, I have no doubt the muscles around your scapula will be stronger and you are going to be able to show feats of strength really when performing the calisthenics skills. And how should you incorporate those exercises in, into your calisthenics routine? What I recommend honestly, and what, that's what I do is I'll look at a particular day and the workout I'm gonna do on that day and I'll identify the scapular movements that I need to perform in that uh, exercise. So let's just say again that if today I'm going to be doing some L-sit training and I know that I need to have my scapula depressed there. So I will then select the exercises that I outline in this video and I will introduce them as warm-ups in my workout for that given day. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up to help my tiny channel grow and consider subscribing as well if you are interested in more calisthenics videos. Also on screen right now, you're seeing the next video on this series, so make sure to check it out as well. I'll see you on the next one.